Welcome to today's demonstration on NetSuite's solution for software companies covering global financials. NetSuite's software industry solution is built using expertise from implementing over 1,700 customers. In this demonstration, you will see how you can use NetSuite's powerful global financial management and accounting functionality to run a multi-subsidiary, multi-currency, and multilingual company. You will see how NetSuite is able to handle common international challenges around exchange rates, consolidation, month-end closing, and taxes. We will show how global controllers and CFOs can use NetSuite to have greater visibility and complete key tasks more efficiently. NetSuite's solution is designed to address some of the most common business challenges facing global operations. Oftentimes we hear that CFOs lack visibility into the operations of their multiple subsidiaries. Without a real-time view into key performance indicators, metrics, and financial reports for each subsidiary, CFOs have difficulty making timely and accurate decisions. Controllers are left with the burden of handling multiple currencies and numerous intercompany transactions, making consolidating and closing the books a prolonged and inefficient process. NetSuite has developed the software industry solution based on their knowledge of leading practices relating to global financial processes. NetSuite's unified database allows for real-time reporting into key performance indicators of your business with drill-down visibility into underlying transactions. With support for unlimited GL segments and a robust native reporting engine, you can have a 360-degree view into your customers, vendors, products, departments, and more. NetSuite comes out of the box ready to handle over 190 currencies and calculate complex U.S. and international taxes. Most importantly, the platform is designed to be end-user friendly to help efficiently complete all of your global financial operations. NetSuite's software industry global financial solution is the first true cloud-based solution built from the ground up. With the NetSuite solution, users can get access from anywhere, including mobile devices. Because NetSuite uses role-based access and permissions, your assigned role will determine both what you are allowed to see and edit in the system, as well as organizing the information that you need to see in your dashboards. This means you can efficiently see the most important information you need to act quickly and decisively. Let's see the application in NetSuite's global financial solution. This is the dashboard of my global CFO, where I have access to real-time reports, key metrics, and easy access to some of the most common activities done by a CFO. Let's first navigate to my subsidiaries page using the global search, where I can set up and manage my organizational hierarchy. Within NetSuite, you can manage your subsidiary structure from the subsidiaries list. As your company expands internationally or acquires new companies, you can easily add these subsidiaries to your existing hierarchy. Here you can see that your parent company is at the top, as well as a number of international subsidiaries in Canada, the UK, and the US. Let's drill into the UK subsidiary and see what type of information can be set up on the subsidiary level. On the subsidiary record, you have the ability to set up many default preferences by subsidiary, including the hierarchy, the local language, the functional currency, and tax nexuses. Let's look at some of these starting with the hierarchy. Controlling the subsidiary hierarchy is important when it comes to reporting and consolidating. Here you have the ability to structure your hierarchy to report at the local, the geographical, such as EMEA and APAC, and at the headquarters level. Language preferences can also be set up on the subsidiary level. NetSuite has over 20 user interface languages allowing all of your employees to use NetSuite platform in their own native language. Each subsidiary has the ability to operate in their own functional currency for reporting purposes. NetSuite supports over 190 different currencies. And lastly, tax nexuses can be assigned to each of your subsidiaries. In NetSuite, you have the ability to calculate U.S. sales tax using our native tax functionality, as well as support for integrating with partners for more complex taxation. As a CFO, it is critical you have a dashboard providing you with a consolidated view of the performance of your entire company with visibility into the performance of each one of your individual subsidiaries. 
The subsidiary navigator portlet allows you to have complete insight into your subsidiaries from a single dashboard. Using the subsidiary navigator, you can select any subsidiary within the hierarchy. Let's go ahead and select the UK subsidiary. When you do this, you can see that in real time, all of the portlets on the dashboard are updated to show only the information for the selected subsidiary. All of your reminders, KPIs, trend graphs, and metrics have now been filtered to reflect only the UK subsidiary. Also notice that the currency has updated to the British pound, which of course is the reporting currency of my UK subsidiary. You can easily switch back to a consolidated view of the parent company correspondingly translating your currencies back to the parent currency in real time. Nesweet works with several partners to bring in exchange rates on a daily basis. Any transactions conducted will automatically use the current day's exchange rates. In Netsuite, multi-subsidiary companies operating in multi-currency environment can consolidate financials in real time. Additionally, any financial report can be run in the context of a child subsidiary in their own functional currency. So let's try this out. Using the filters at the bottom of this page, I'll add columns to view each subsidiary side by side. Here I am viewing each one of my subsidiaries in the US dollars, which is the reporting currency of my parent company. From here, I can adjust the subsidiary view to see the income statement in the contacts of just my UK subsidiary. In real time, the UK income statement was translated to British pounds, which is the functional currency of my UK subsidiary. As you can see, consolidation can be done in real time. Consolidation is not just a month end process, but can be done at any time during the month. There is no consolidation module or process that you have to run. Any report can be opened and consolidated in real time. NetSuite is able to do this by first, automatically bringing in the exchange rates on a daily basis, and second, by updating and maintaining a consolidated exchange rate table. As exchange rates are automatically brought in on a daily basis, this table recalculates the consolidated rates used to consolidate P&L accounts, balance sheet accounts, and equity accounts. Lastly, as in any report in NetSuite, any amount you see here can be drilled into to reveal the underlying transactions that make up the account. I can click on supplies expense to reveal the transactions making up this account and further drill into the actual transaction itself to reveal line level detail. As you noticed from my dashboard, I was able to drill into an income statement down to the transactions within my expense account into the actual transaction itself in only three clicks. Nesby further helps you manage your multi-currency environments by automatically calculating and posting any gains and losses on currency revaluations. Notice that this transaction is in my UK subsidiary, and I'm transacting in the euros. And on March 1st, the day this bill was entered into the system, my exchange rate was 0.7. Nesby inherently links related transactions such as bills and their payments, making it easier to locate and navigate to related transactions. Notice that the status of this bill is paid in full. By clicking on my related records tab, I am able to drill into that payment transaction. Notice my payment was made on March 28th, and the exchange rate on this day is now 0.5. Netsuite will automatically calculate this gain or loss due to the currency fluctuations and post the entry. By clicking on the GL impact of this transaction, you can see what the general ledger impact is and see that Netsuite has posted to your realized gain or loss account. Very similar, Netsuite handles your unrealized gains and losses for any open accounts receivable and accounts payable transactions at month end. Here you are viewing an unrealized gains and loss report showing all of the open transactions that have been revalued at month end due to currency fluctuations. You can see here I have two bills that were entered in February and at the time these bills were entered into the system, the exchange rate was 0.72. At February's month end, the exchange rate was 0.79, so in turn a realized gain or loss was posted to the account. Subsequently, Nesby will automatically handle the reversal of that transaction. So on the first day of the next open period in March, these entries were reversed. 
By having NetSuite automatically handle currency fluctuations for realized and unrealized gains and losses, you can eliminate timely and error-prone processes around calculating and tracking this manually yourself. Next, I'd like to show how NetSuite provides a period close checklist that will help streamline your month end close process and dramatically reduce your time to close. Let's take a look at the checks that NetSuite provides. First, you will lock down your general ledger. NetSuite provides separate actions to lock your accounts payable, your accounts receivable, or additionally to lock them all at once. Once activities are locked for an accounting period, only users with override permission can make changes that impact the general ledger of the locked period. The next step is to revalue open foreign currency balances. As you've seen in the unrealized gains and losses report, NetSuite will automatically determine and post those unrealized gains and losses from exchange rate fluctuations for any open accounts receivable and accounts payable transactions. Next, you want to calculate your consolidated exchange rates. When companies have subsidiaries using different functional currencies, the consolidated exchange rates are used to translate the balances of subsidiaries to the currency of the parent entity. And next, you have the eliminate intercompany transactions. NetSuite will eliminate any intercompany transactions. While entering intercompany transactions throughout the period to record business activity between the subsidiaries in an organization, transaction lines can be identified that require elimination at period end. NetSuite automatically creates these eliminating journal entries and posts them to the elimination subsidiaries. Let's walk through this last step to see how easy it is to close the books using NetSuite. Companies manage transactions between their subsidiaries by creating intercompany sales and purchase transactions, intercompany journal entries, intercompany asset transfers, intercompany inventory transfers, and intercompany time and expense entries. Here, in our scenario, we have a cost plus arrangement between the US and the UK subsidiary. The UK has incurred some expenses for salaries and advertisement, so they've created this ensuing intercompany journal entry to transfer those costs to the US. Notice on this intercompany journal entry, you have the ability to post to both the US and the UK subsidiary simultaneously. Your consolidated income statement is reflecting these transactions as revenue and costs. Notice here I have intercompany revenue for my UK subsidiary, as well as intercompany cost of goods sold for my US subsidiary. And my total consolidated column, we need to eliminate the financial effects of these transactions. By running the last step of the period close checklist, NetSuite will automatically identify these intercompany transactions and post the elimination entries to the elimination subsidiary. Notice by running this month end process and refreshing my income statement, we've eliminated the financial impacts of this intercompany transaction. Now you are ready to close the books. Finally, let's look at how NetSuite can help automate the tax filings of large multinational companies involving hundreds of currencies using our international tax bundle. NetSuite comes out of the box ready to handle tax filings for over 100 countries. Many countries, including the UK, are online filing ready, meaning you can calculate, prepare, and submit VAT taxes all from within the NetSuite platform. As you can see, NetSuite automatically completes the form and it is now ready for online submission to the HMRC. Using our industry expertise from implementing over 1,700 software companies, you have seen how NetSuite's software industry global financials can be used to gain greater visibility into the state of your international business. Key financial information for all of your subsidiaries is accessible straight from your dashboard. The time and effort involved in dealing with currency revaluations and translations can be greatly reduced by utilizing NetSuite's fully automated currency solution. 
Ultimately, by gaining visibility and automating these processes, you can greatly reduce the time to close the books and create reports that give you actionable insight for proactive decision making. Thank you for watching this demonstration on NetSuite's leading practices for global financial operations. Leveraging the global financial leading practices in conjunction with the leading practices developed by NetSuite for all of the other functional business areas, companies can ensure their processes, activities, and systems are aligned with the foremost methods within the software industry.